Hello friends, welcome back to All in and Law. Today I am going to talk about functions of functions of limbic system. Okay guys, so before starting a discussion on this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends. Let's talk about what you call the functions of limbic systems. In a previous video, we discussed about the different parts or different structures that forms a limbic system. And in a previous video, another video, we discussed about the Pepe circuit and its importance. Here, we're going to talk about the functions of limbic system in general. So let's talk about the functions. The most important will we start with smell that's olfaction. Can you tell me which part of uh, what you call uh, limbic system helps in the um, olfaction? Can you guess? Is a paleocortical structure. Okay, right. Remember. The piriform, what you call cortex and amygdaloid nucleus form the olfactory centers. The two, they are formed by two. One is piriform cortex, okay, and the other one is piriform cortex of paleoc structure and amygdaloid nucleus from subcortical, right? Yes. So they together form a piriform, what you call olfaction function. The second important function is regulation of endocrine glands known as hypothalamus you know very well right regulation of endocrine glands and the third important function is regulation of autonomic functions so you know hypothalamus plays very important role in blood maintaining blood pressure heart rate right water balance and body temperature Okay, and the fourth important function is what you call control of circadian rhythm. Circadian rhythm. Who plays that role? It's nothing but a hypothalamus, right? The hypothalamus takes a major role in this. This is a physiological response. Okay, and the other function is regulation of food intake. Food intake. Okay. Along with the amygdaloid complex, the feeding center and the satiety center present in the hypothalamus, they regulate the food intake. You know very well in a diabetes, the satiety center stops working properly because it needs the insulin to work. That's why the diabetic patients start eating more and more because the satiety center is never stimulated. Okay. Now the other function is helps in the regulation of sexual functions. Sexual functions. Okay, this is the hypothalamus, right? And emotions. Who will do that? It's by hippocampus with hypothalamus. Hypothalamus, right? Hippocampus and hypothalamus. And the other function is it helps in the memory. We discussed before, just now. Pepe's circuit, right? Memory. Hippocampus and Pepe circuit, remember, and it helps in the motivation. Reward and the punishment centers present in the hypothalamus and other structures of the limbic system. Um, they are responsible for what you call motivation and the behavior pattern of the human beings. So if you're good, it's because of your good limbic, uh, limbic system. If you're bad, it's because of your bad limbic system. So grow up your limbic system, guys. Okay, guys, so what are the functions? Olfaction, hypothalamic functions, it helps in the maintenance of uh, what you call um, autonomic, uh, autonomic functions, uh, circadian rhythm, then we have sexual functions, emotional states, food intake, memory, and the motivation. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Take care. See you soon in the next video with us on All on Unlock.